Okay, it is 8.30, so I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I hope that you all can hear me. If not, there is a chat, so let me know, because I'm testing out a new microphone tonight, so <laughs> I hope it's working. But um, I'm Jordan Eicher, for those of you who I haven't met yet, but I am really excited to be with you live tonight, because Mary Kay has made the biggest announcement and i'm sure you've already read it in your email and i'm sure you've seen it on facebook and i know i've been excitedly telling you about it so what i wanted to do for the next 30 minutes um hopefully less if i can talk fast enough if you can listen fast enough is to just unpack it for you what is this all in with eight promotion what maybe you're asking is DIQ and why is this so exciting and what can it mean for me and my business? And um, what if I'm a brand new consultant? What if I'm a consultant with no team members? What if I haven't even had a first party yet? Is this some game that I can play or is this for other people? And so I wanna unpack that with you tonight. So I can't do too much introduction, but I just wanna suffice it to say that this is probably the most exciting promotion that I've ever seen Mary Kay do. And I feel like I've said that a lot of times in my career and I've meant it sincerely every single time. And I mean it again tonight. And I mean it because um, this is a um, literal game changer. So Mary, I mean, people hashtag that all the time. Like people hashtag game changer when Doritos comes out with a new flavor, right? That's not a game changer. <laughs> this is a real game changer. Mary Kay is actually changing the rules on moving up into a leadership position, which is called a sales director position, which you see I'm wearing my sales director suit tonight, right? Because I mean business. <laughs> because this is part of the perks of earning that job is this suit so that you get this fancy schmancy outfit to wear and you never ever have to worry about what you're gonna wear to a Mary Kay event ever again. It's like the best wardrobe budget saver in the whole world and you look like a million bucks. And um, so, that's what they're doing is they're making the gate wider for women who want to come through to that leadership position of sales director and they're actually changing the rules that's a game changer so i want to unpack that for you and i want to tell you what that really means so what is um diq diq stands for director in qualification and director is the same thing as sales director. So it's anybody who decides to promote themselves into that position of leadership. And a sales director is actually the top 2% of the entire Mary Kay sales force. So, um, you know, if you have a director and you're listening tonight, then you are lucky because seriously, she knows what she's doing. And um, I'm hoping that most of the women that are going to be hearing this are in our future national area, the Pure Gold area, or the future Brock national area, an offspring of Kelly Brock or one of her sales directors and in our Mary Kay family. Uh, but I know there'll be other people who sneak and see it. So that's why I'm saying if you, um, you know, have a sales director relationship that's mentoring you, just consider yourself really lucky because she knows what she's doing. So um, DIQ, I'm not even going to bother telling you what it used to be, but what I am going to do is try to show you what the rules are now, the rules of the game that you can begin to play. And so I'm going to try to screen share really quickly so that you can see. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just gonna roll with it like you are. <laughs> um, okay, I want this bigger, 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 bigger. Okay, if you can see right here, it says all in with eight. Now, what does the eight mean? The eight means eight active team members, all right? eight active team members that you personally sponsor into Mary Kay. So um, we're gonna talk about that in a second, what that means and what that looks like. When is this promotion running? Well, the contest starts actually right now, and I'll go back to that in a second, but it says here the contest starts October 1st, 2017, and it ends December 1st of 2017. Now those are just the dates, the start date and the end date of when you can submit to enter the DIQ program because what it is is that you have to make a commitment to Mary Kay and to the company and basically send them a little card. It's online and you tell them, hey, I'm here. I'm entering the leadership mentoring program, the leadership qualification program called DIQ. I want to be a sales director in qualification. And you do that on the first of a month. 
So that's why it says October 1st through December 1st, because for example, you can't enter a DIQ program on you know, the 10th of a month or the 15th of a month or in the middle or end of a month. You have to enter on the first of the month that you choose to start. So that those are the program dates. You can start October 1st, you can start September, uh, November 1st, or you can start December 1st to be a part of this widening of the gate, the game-changing new rules. So here are the pre, what we are calling the pre-qualifications. That means what has to happen before October 1st or before November 1st or before December 1st, whichever of the three months you're gonna choose to enter the leadership program, the qualification program. What has to happen before? Well, you must be an active beauty consultant. So what that means is that you have to have placed at least a minimum $225 wholesale order in the past three months, three calendar months. So if you're confused about whether you're active or not, um, just let your sales director know, let me know, and we can hook you up with how to make sure that you get activated. The next qualification is that you have to have eight active personal team members. So this is the team building part. This is where, honestly, um, some of you might have just shut down and thought, well, I just started how in the world by October 1st, which is in like 11 days, would I ever have eight team members? I just became somebody's team member. So how am I going to have eight active team members? I'm going to talk about that in a minute because I was in a very similar position and decided to enter the leadership program really fast. So I'm going to tell you all my secrets in just a second. So I'm going to show you how this part here is crossed out because what this flyer really is, is the old rules and then the new rules superimposed on top. So um, just ignore whatever is scratched out. So all you need beforehand is to be activated yourself and have eight active personal team members. Then we're going to look at the requirements to finish as a sales director, which again is promoting yourself to the top 2% of the entire sales force with Mary Kay. You get paid three times as much to do the exact same job, except that you get to mentor the other women on your team. So if you ever liked being a Bible study leader, or you were a Girl Scout troop leader, or if you ever raised your hand to be the speaker in your college you know, group um, project class, project presentation, um, or if you just are a great nurturer and a great mom and you love um, being in charge and leading other people and if you've ever offered up opinions and advice on Facebook about meal planning or scrapbooking or couponing or exercise, sports science, anything that you're great at, if you like to help other people, then that's the extra part of being a sales director that really you get paid three times as much to still sell the products still book parties, still share the business opportunity with women, and still keep track of your receipts and do that minimal paperwork. But a sales director just chooses to teach and show other women the way and get paid three times as much for that mentoring piece. So honestly, the job is just the best leadership position I could ever think of, but the income is what keeps many, many women doing um, with their eyes on directorship. So here's how you would finish. You have one, two, three, or four one, two, or three months to do it. So you can finish it all in one month, these requirements. You can do it in two months, or you can do it in three months. So you can take as little or as long as you want. And what you have to finish with at the end of your one, two, or three months is 24 total active DIQ team members. Now remember, the eight active had to be active personal team members. Well, that means you had to sponsor them into the business yourself. So your name had to be on their Mary Kay application with theirs. Well, what the team active DIQ team members means is that once you have eight, you count as number nine out of your 24 total and you and those eight other women and any of their team members that they add now become part of this 24 total active that you need. So let's say that you add to your team your sister-in-law and you just know she's great in sales, she loves people, she loves makeup, she talks to everyone, and wow, she could be a Mary Kay superstar. Well, you wanna make sure that if she's gonna take off running that you are in DIQ already with seven other active team members besides your hotshot sister-in-law. Because if she starts recruiting and she adds three or four people to her team in her first month, well now she's added three or four to your total 24 and you're going to get paid that three times as much income commission when you're a sales director on her three superstars instead of her just getting paid on them all by herself. Wouldn't you like to get paid on your super 
hotshot friends. And wouldn't you love to be the one leading out by example with your excitement and enthusiasm of your growing income and your leadership opportunities, your fancy new suit to be adding um, the most to your new DIQ team. But this is kind of great because everybody's team members start counting for your 24. So you don't have to have any qualified new personal recruits. So even if you're confused about what that means, well, it doesn't matter. You don't have to have any, so forget about it. And this number is your total DIQ unit wholesale production. And production just means the orders that go into MaryKayInTouch.com, the orders placed for Mary Kay products to the company between you and your team over the three month period. So this averages out to be 4,500 every month for three months if you decide to take three months. If you take two months, well, you divide this number in two, or you can really just wrap it all up and do it all in one month if you're a sprinter and not a marathoner. And so I'll talk to you about that in a second. Now, the next requirement is the 3,000 maximum that you can personally order from Mary Kay to count towards this 13,500. So even if you're a super seller and you sold $10,000 on your own, well, you can certainly order it and service your customers, but only 3,000 of it is going to count towards your new unit, all right? Now, this last qualification down here is your monthly DIQ unit pr wholesale production. Again, that's total orders that go into Mary Kay minimally to remain in the three-month qualification, the DIQ program. So basically what they're saying is, on average, if you wanted to finish just with averages over three months, you'd do 4,500. But if you dip below 4,000 in any given month, then you're out of the DIQ program. And basically Mary Kay is saying, you know what, we think you're probably not quite ready for what it takes for that three times the amount paycheck. And so um, build up your business a little bit more and you can come back and always try again another month. So that's, those are the requirements. So what I wanna show you too is just some of these other perks that are featured over here on this gorgeous flyer. This is the beautiful sales director suit and there's actually a third jacket option that's not pictured here. I'm wearing this one right now with the cool stone buttons and the kind of funky looking cutout neck collar, which I love. I also bought this long topper jacket for the colder winter months here in North Carolina, and you'll be seeing me sporting that one at my success events um, as the weather is turning to fall and winter here for sure. And um, then if you scroll down, these are the gorgeous gifts that you're going to receive when you debut as a brand new sales director. So there is this um, amazing designer who custom designs this set of jewelry for Mary Kay new sales directors, these beautiful earrings, this gorgeous kind of like stone tassel necklace, and this hammered gold and mother of pearl ring, which I have seen, this is actually a ring. It looks like a big cuff bracelet, but it's not, it's a ring. And I've seen so many women wearing this um, because not only do you receive it, but your senior director is going to receive it when you become a new um, sales director, a new leader with Mary Kay at that top 2% level. And then you get this ridiculous, gorgeous Ralph Lauren handbag to match your suit so that you look absolutely, totally professional, so that you look totally polished, so that you're on trend, and so that you can represent this position of sales director just looking absolutely fabulous at all the Mary Kay conferences and events. And speaking of the Mary Kay conferences and events, when you debut as a new sales director under this All In With Eight program, you're gonna get to go to Leadership Conference, your registration totally for free. And Leadership Conference is the special conference that happens every January just for sales directors. So nobody else is able to go. So, oh gosh, I think you didn't see any of that. Oh my gosh, you didn't see any of that, did you? I just realized I wasn't screen sharing right. No, I'm devastated. Oh my gosh. Oh well, what can I do? Oh, I need a technology manager. <laughs> Help me. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to post that flyer on our Facebook group so that you can all see what in the world I was talking about that whole time. And oh, I am so embarrassed. Okay, moving on. Can't sit in the past, right? Um, so 
um, what you get to do is you get to come to Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta is where our leadership conference is this year in Atlanta, Georgia, which is an awesome city. It's so fun to hang out. And um, so in Atlanta, there is a big, huge party that Mary throws. And it's, this year, it's always themed a different theme. And this year, it's called the Pop Lana Party. And so more details to that on that to come. But you get invited to the Pop Lana Party, which is usually just for high achieving sales directors because you take advantage of this DIQ program and your registration which is usually hundreds of dollars is totally for free so um, all you have to do is find a way to get there and pay for a hotel room and you get to come to leadership conference so um, it's going to just be the the best most fun party because right now there are so many women who have thought about changing careers or thought about adding something else into their life to challenge them to have an entrepreneurial endeavor to see if they can really lead other people and make an, an impact and also make a lot of money wouldn't you love to as a baseline sales director earn around forty five hundred dollars to five thousand dollars a month with just a baby unit and then let your income grow from there for doing the exact same job that you're doing as a beauty consultant but just mentoring other women along the way you know what you see me doing and maybe if you have a successful Cadillac sales director what you see her doing is something she's grown into and it's not something that all sales directors do when you just have a baby unit of you and 24 new active beauty consultants you only have to mentor them in a small way you know you're not having to do big videos unless you want to you're not having to host huge classes unless you want to you know you don't have to do fancy emails or anything like that unless you choose to and if you want to of course your senior director can show you the way to do all those things but in the beginning just remember it's kind of like having a baby like you're going to grow and learn with your brand new baby unit and as your unit grows your leadership skills will grow and you have a mentor, your senior sales director to help you at every stage along that path. So another exciting thing you get to do is attend new director education week. My offspring sales director, Betsy Sugg is my newest director and she's going to new director education week like tomorrow or the next day in Chicago with all the other brand new sales directors that debuted around the same time she did. Um, they're all going together for like, camp like uh, like you know they're going for education for an entire like four or five days with some of the top income earning national sales directors in the company to give them their tips and tricks and show them about systems and how to mentor and lead people and how to read people's personality styles and they get treated like queens they eat the entire week like they all gain weight <laughs> because they just eat so much and have so much fun they stay up too late and they make lifelong friends it's kind of like boot camp and so you get so much support as a brand new sales director so don't be afraid about doing the job once you get there you will grow into and love the position of sales director i always say that this is one of the best um jobs for pretty much any woman who just likes to work and that's because there's kind of everything all encompassing in it you get to be um, a money manager you get to, if that's your you know strong suit you get to be a communicator if that's your strong suit sometimes you get to be an actress when you do like videos sometimes you get to um be an event planner when you plan your weekly success event for your people sometimes you're a counselor you're like a listening ear to your beauty consultants um you know, there's just so many things I could just go on and on about all the roles that a sales director gets to play a cheerleader, um, a motivational speaker, um, you know, a, a retail shop owner, you're still selling products, a makeup artist, you're still doing faces, you know, it's just a great career. And um, it's also just amazing to think about the role model that you can be for your children or for the people in your life who are watching you and depending on you. So being a sales director is just one of the most fun jobs in the whole world. But so here's what I wanted to share with you. So on paper, before I was a director, I was a consultant just like you. And I was a new consultant before I became a director. I became a director really fast after being brand new in the company. And that's because of the money. I saw the income potential. And my mom said to me, my mom was my recruiter in the business. And she said, you know, Jordan, it's really, she said exactly what I said to you tonight. She said, it's the same job. You're still going to meet new pe meet new people, make new contacts, book a facial, turn it into a party hold a party, sell the product, and then figure out if there's anybody around that table that might be interested in hearing a little bit more about working it like a business. And then you recruit those people into the business and you just sort of take them with you to your party so that they learn what to do. And she said, I'll take care of the rest. She said, unless you want to take care of the rest and help mentor and coach people and be an influencer and, and impact women's lives a little bit further because you're a great teacher. My mom thought I was a great teacher. And she just said, you know, if you do, Mary Kay will pay you three times as much to do the same job. When I heard that, I went, ding, 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 I'm a poor college student. 
I'd love to be able to not move home with my parents when I graduate and be able to stand on my own two legs and be financially independent. So three times as much for the same job and just if I just help a couple other women figure out how to do it in my spare time, yeah, I'm interested in that. So I had one active team member, my college roommate, her name was Rachel. Um, I just thought to myself, okay, um, for me, the, the gate was not wide open. The gate was regular open. I needed 10 active team members. Now remember, this promotion for you is called All In With Eight. You only need eight active team members to enter DIQ. Well, I needed 10, and I had, remember, how many? One. And she was active. And so I just thought, okay, I, on paper, am not ready to enter DIQ, but in my heart, I want that position and I want that income and I'm willing to do whatever it takes between now and the end of the month to enter that leadership card to Mary Kay and say, here, I really want to go for this. And, you know, then I'm going to trust my mentor and my coach to tell me what to do once I get there. So what did I do? Well, I sat down with a blank piece of paper, a yellow legal pad. I was in the passenger seat of a car. I'll never forget this on a road trip. And I wrote down the names of anybody that I could think of that just loved me and would help me out by holding a Mary Kay party for me in the next seven days. I think I had like 12 days left or something between where I was and the end of the month, which is ironically about how many we have now. We have 11 days starting tomorrow from now until the end of the month. And I just call people and I basically just said, Hey, it's Jordan. I know you're going to, you're going to think I'm totally crazy and that I've lost my mind, but I'm really excited about something. And I feel God moving in my life right now. I feel like I have a big personal growth opportunity on my hands to step into a leadership position with Mary Kay. And so what do I need from you? I'm calling you because you're somebody in my life that I've always been able to count on. You know, this is people like my aunt and my grandmother and my cousins and my best friends from home, you know, from high school and their moms. And I was just saying, you're somebody in my life who's always been in my corner and somebody I can always count on. And I have this huge personal growth opportunity in front of me. I'm, I'm wanting to earn a career car and become a leader with Mary Kay. And I just need some women to gather around a dining room table or a kitchen table and let me do some practice makeovers. Is there any reason why I couldn't borrow your face and a few of your friends for an hour and a half to two hours uh, sometime between now and next Sunday? And just for doing that for me, I'll give you a free eyeshadow for everybody who's there or a free gift. And I'll give you, if you have five women there who are over 18 who don't have a Mary Kay consultant already, I'll give you a hundred dollar shopping spree that night. Does that sound worth your time to help me with my with my dream? And it's amazing, you guys. When I said it in that way, when I said, I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but I have a personal growth opportunity in front of me. You're someone who's always supported me. And is there any reason why I couldn't borrow your face and you invite some friends? I'll give you $100 in free stuff. People were saying yes, left and right. And I think one of the greatest keys to why they were saying yes is because they heard how much I wanted it in my voice and in my heart and in the way I was talking over the phone. So before you make these calls, if, if your heart is like beating right now thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this. I'm totally going to go for it. What do I have to lose? Really, what do you have to lose? Um, but think about the way your voice sounds when you're asking women to book with you. Um, because what I did then when I held the party, yes, I sold product, but I also talked about the fact that I wanted to enter the leadership program and I needed eight women on my team, which just meant they got a starter kit and an active order. And the act, I told them the starter kit's a hundred bucks. The active order is 225 wholesale. So you pay 225, you pick out $450 worth of Christmas gifts. Christmas will be here before you know it. Um, or personal use products for you and your friend or for you and your neighbor or you and your mom or you and your daughters and help me. And, um, you know, if then you decide to do more with your Mary Kay business, my director will help you. And when I become a director, I'll help you. And that's how I did it, you guys. And so I did, I ended up with 10 active people like 12 days later because I just asked and people love the products. And I had probably seven or eight parties in that like 12 days because people said yes. And I made time. A party only takes two hours and um, that's with travel time included. So it doesn't take a long time. But um, what I wanted, you know, what, so I did, I entered the DIQ program and that was in May when I was doing that. And I had one active team member, June 1st, I entered the DIQ program and I was somebody that finished it in one month because just how excited I was. You can imagine if I was that excited after having one team member, I got nine more in like 12 days. I was un unstoppable. You could not 
squelch my enthusiasm, my fire, my passion for Mary Kay, and that attracted people to my team. And that's exactly what's going to happen to you if you just draw a line in the sand and step over it and say, it's not one day I'm going to do this. It's day one right now because the opportunity, the gate is wide right now for just three months, October, November, December, and then it's going to close back up again. So that's something to really consider because Mary Kay took a lot off of the rules. Remember I said the rules literally changed. They were harder before. They're easier now, like not a little easier. They're a lot easier. And so now is your moment. And I always say this, I feel like sometimes when God presents us an opportunity, it's like a revolving door. If we don't step into it right then, it may never come back around again. When it comes back around, there might not be anything in the open door again. It might just be gone. And because we said no, because we let fear hold us back, because we weren't sure what the whole road would look like, we weren't willing to take the first step. So if you want to go into DIQ, um, October 1, it's totally possible, even though right now is the middle of September and you've never had this thought before. That was me. So you might be the type of person that can just figure this out and go for it. Now, if that's not you, if your brain is like exploded right now because you just can't imagine how anybody did that and why anybody would do that and wait, don't you need a plan and I like to take my time and wait a second, this doesn't sound right, <laughs> then this is probably not your route. And you could go in November 1st. Now, I want to, I made a plan on paper for those of you like that, because I'm not like that, but I know there are some people who are like that. So I wrote it down so I can be very prepared for you. Look, here it is. <laughs> so here is your plan, okay? Now, these are kind of plans that you just do in your head and in your heart. So the first, and then I'll get to the plan of what you actually need to do. So the first plan in your heart is to start ramping up your energy and your activity in your mind, like your willingness, what you're going to do, your affirmation, your, your direction, your vision right now, like today, right now, as we're talking, don't let that vision go. And mentally, you're going to ramp up right now that you're beginning today that just like I said, today is your day one, not you're going to do this one day that you're starting today. You draw a line in the sand and you decide. And you've heard this many times. The literal translation of the word decide is to kill off all other options, right? The, the suffix side, C-I-D-E, is found in words like suicide, homicide, like it's about a death, right? So you're going to kill off all other options that you are going to be a Mary Kay sales director, that this is going to be your path. This is what you've been looking for. This is the, the diamond in the rough that you didn't expect. This is the out of nowhere boat life raft that God is sending you that you've been trying to like quiet and put out. But for some reason, it just keeps coming back. God just keeps putting it back in front of you. But you're the one who has to decide to stop looking around for everything else. This is it. This can be anything you want it to be. And that's my job or your senior director's job is to help you craft the business of your dreams through this vehicle of Mary Kay and craft the life of your dreams for your family that money can buy you. So think about that. Decide what? Well, decide that you're going to give it 100%. That. Some of you are thinking, well, I work a full-time job and I'm tired when I get done. I get that. Okay. I was a full-time student when I started my Mary Kay business, which is like, in my opinion, having a full-time job. Um, I was double majoring. I was at one of the top universities in the country and I was volunteering all over the place and I was very, very busy too. So here's the thing, what you're going to do, which I'll tell you in the actual plan in a second is you're going to give it a hundred percent during all the hours that you plan to work your Mary Kay business, not 100% whenever you find yourself with a free second, because you'll burn out that way. You'll just be too tired. You'll feel frustrated in work. You'll feel frustrated in Mary Kay. You'll feel frustrated in your relationships and your family. So we don't want to do that. So you're going to give it 100% during the hours that you've pre-planned to work your Mary Kay business. Can we agree on that? Okay. Then even, and I, and I wrote this down, even if you don't work another job, you still have to plan your Mary Kay schedule, your Mary Kay work hours, because that's a form of respect to yourself and to your business. When you plan your work hours, sometimes I feel like women who have other jobs, even like two or three other jobs do better than ones that don't have anything else going on and do Mary Kay or could potentially do Mary Kay all the time. And that's because they're accountable with their time to, to a job. And so they have to make the hours count that they do have when you're not accountable to anybody with your time or your schedule or like a punch clock, then you can drift by and let 
you like not even get dressed until three o'clock in the afternoon and be like, oh, what happened to the day? And then by the time, you know, you've got two hours before your spouse or your spice is getting back. And by that point, you just want to hang out and you haven't done anything. Sound familiar? <laughs> so, um, so that's the first thing you're going to do is plan your Mary Kay schedule and give it 100%. Ramp up mentally, you know, get your vision right. Get Make a decision that this is it, that you're going to do this and you're not going to leave the back door cracked open to fail or to just quit. And when I say fail, I mean quit. That's the only way always to fail in Mary Kay is to quit. So the third thing you're gonna do is form a new habit. Now this is the actual plan, okay? So your new habit. So have you heard of the Whole30 diet or any of these like eat clean for 40 day programs and see how you feel or the 21 day challenge for weight loss or grapefruit diet for 14 days or the special K challenge? All these things that put just a short amount of time on a new habit so that you can form that habit, right, for a healthier lifestyle overall. Well, so I have for you a 40-day challenge. So the 40 days is going to start November 1st, and it's going to go through October 31st. Now, remember, if you're a superstar sprinter hotshot like I was, then you forget about November 1st, and you keep focusing on 12 days from now, 11 days from now, October 1, and you just find your eight active people and you go in, girlfriend, and we'll figure out the rest together. But for those of you who need a little plan, a little structure, a little more time to marinate and like get your head wrapped around, this could be really happening for you. We're going to do November 1st through October 31. And from now until then, that's about 42 or 43 days, I think. So we're going to leave two days for just random throw out days for like your period or like your daughter's birthday party or whatever. You just don't feel up for it. Um, and then we're also going to give you two days a week that are flex days or cheat days to do whatever you want. So this 40 day challenge is really a five day work week out of each seven days. Does that make sense? So only five days out of seven, but times, you know, divided by how many we have, that's like eight corporate work weeks. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I just got a text from Courtney Howe that her soon-to-be DIQ just got her number seven team member at her party tonight. So she needs one more. And that's the fabulous Katie Kearns. And she's going to be a sales director by Christmas, if not sooner. So we're so excited for her. Yay. Um, okay. So Anyway, you can do it too, you guys. Just hold a party and share about the business with passion and enthusiasm. Somebody is going to sign up. People are signing up left and right every day. So, <clears throat> so here is your 40 day plan. Okay. So, um, Sundays, we could call your flex days or, you know, Wednesdays and Sundays or Fridays and Sundays. You can pick two days a week where you just don't do any Mary Kay at all, but five days you're going to do these five things. All right. So here is the new habit. You're going to ask and answer these questions and I'll put these on the group too. So you don't have to write them down. The first thing you're going to ask is what can I sell today? Second thing you're gonna ask, who can I book today? Third, who did I meet today? Fourth, who can I share the business with today? And fifth, who can I follow up with today? So these five questions are gonna guide all your Mary Kay activity for the 40 day challenge to DIQ, okay? What can I sell today? Who can I book today? Who did I meet today? Who can I share the business with today? And who can I follow up with today? And where did I get these questions? In my brain. This is exactly what I did every single day when I was trying to enter and finish directorship qualifications. These were the only things that mattered to get me the results that I needed and wanted to gain the position that would pay me the checks that I desired for my life and that would give me the influence that I wanted with women in the world and give me the freedom and flexibility to design my own schedule and for my family and my future family around my work, not schedule, I mean, my work around my family, not schedule my family around my work. Does that make sense? So when you do this, okay, when you fill in those blanks of you know, what can I sell today? Well, you're going to be talking to a person to be able to sell something, right? So that's at least one person. Who can I book today? You're going to reach out to somebody for a booking appointment. That's talking to a second person. Who did I meet today? Well, this is about making a new contact every single day for 40 days. Um, maybe you went to a party and you met a bunch of people. Well, that counts. If you go to a birthday party, you meet six new women. Well, you've done six days worth of this particular 
challenge, but I still encourage you to make it a habit and do one a day. But who did I meet today? That's a third person. Who can I interview today? Typically, um, someone you share the business with is someone who's bought from you in the past. So that's a fourth person. And then who can I follow up with? Again, somebody you've sold to in the past or has been a hostess for you uh, or you invited to a success meeting in your area. That's a fifth person. So if you talk to one person each day for five days in a week, you're going to be talking to 25 people each week. That's a lot of people, you guys. Times eight weeks, right? If we're doing a five-day week and there's 40 days, 40 divided by five is eight. That's 200 people that you're going to be talking to about booking, about sharing an appointment, about making a contact, about following up with for, a, for an appointment to do a booking, to make a contact, to meet new people, to make a sale. It's a, it's a cycle. And you're going to be talking to 200 people between now and and October 31st, 200. So that's called the compound effect, right? That's when a small daily win that you do habitually starts to really add up to some huge numbers that you never thought you could do between now and the end of next month, right? 200 people. So what would this day really look like? And, and again, this plan still leaves two days each week to do no Mary Kay at all, to do whatever you want or whatever you already do. And it still leaves two random days open for free days for like if you get sick or if your daughter has a birthday party and you need to do it all day long. And I mean, even that could be one of your flex days. This still leaves two random days for who knows what travel or I don't know, like for me, I'm jet lagged right now, really bad. And I have a cold from coming back from Alaska. So maybe you just don't feel good one day. So what would this day really look like? Well, to do those five things and to answer those five questions, you'd really have to block off some time. So um, I say about an hour. Doing all five of those things, I think each one could take around 20 minutes, and that leaves you about an hour. But you have to do it. And like you have to put a sign on your door and lock yourself in your bathroom or something that says, kids, mommy's on the phone, or honey, take the kids. I have to do this for our future and for my personal satisfaction and so I can get a win in my Mary Kay world and do something for all of us that can make a huge impact on not just our finances, but our future and the choices that we have for our family. So you have to block off the time. The second thing is ideally you would be um, face to face with people. Um, so what I mean is either your, um, you know, what can I sell today? Maybe you're doing that face to face at a facial or a party or what can I sell today? Well, I've got, you know, a, an appointment to meet a customer to deliver her CC cream at four. Maybe I can just take a temptation basket full of a few other upselling products that go with CC cream that maybe she might want. And I could sell face to face with her there. So ideally you'd be face to face, but you can still sell and book and, follow up with people on the phone and through text messaging and even on social media. So you know all the best ways to communicate with your friends. But I just know that when you're going for a really big goal, if people can see your face and hear your passion in your voice rather than through texting, they're more likely to respond positively to you. I just think it's a human interaction thing. And I think it's, I mean, it's obscene. I forgot the statistic, but it's something like 95% of communication is nonverbal, um, meaning like it's body language, it's what you see the person doing, it's physical like movement and spatial relations between people. And so a huge portion of communicating with others is, um, is not what you're actually saying or the words you're actually using. So think about that when you're maybe going through and looking for really good results. Um, Okay, the third one is who did I meet today? If you've thought to yourself before, like I don't, I would love to do all this, but I don't, know, I don't have anybody to book. Like I don't know anybody. I go to work and then I go home. Well, that has to change. Okay, so if you want to be in a people business, you've got to be willing to get out there and meet people. <laughs> so join an exercise class at the Y, or go to a free decorating class at Pottery Barn at the mall that they do on Sunday afternoons after church or go on the stroller strides group, Facebook group in your neighborhood or your city and go walking with other moms. Like you've got to figure out a way to meet some new people. And honestly, once you get past the fear of that, if you do have a fear of it, it is so much fun. People are actually way nicer than the news makes us think that they are. I met a, I met a new friend tonight at the, there's like a splash pad at this shopping area in my town. And I was there with my kids who just ran into the fountain fully clothed. And yes, they had to go home totally soaking wet. And um, 
it's fine, <laughs> whatever, that's fine. And um, so anyway, um, I met the other mom whose daughter was there doing the exact same thing in her school uniform, like her plaid jumper with a white shirt underneath and Peter Pan collar. And both of us were just rolling our eyes at the kids. And so I met a new friend tonight, just over circumstances. So you got to change if you don't have, like if you have just like a route that you just always do and it doesn't allow you to meet anybody new in your life, you have to change that and allow yourself to do some things that you aren't normally used to doing so that you can meet people you wouldn't normally meet. So um, one person a day, handing out one business card a day and a sample and a sincere compliment will allow you to talk to 200 people um, over the next 40 days. And then who can I follow up with today? So who's, or I'm sorry, who can I share the business with today? When you're thinking about how to answer that question in your first few days, um, think about this. Who, um, who is not currently on your team that you know in your life or you know through an acquaintance or just kind of your friend on Facebook or you follow her on Instagram? Um, who is not currently on your team right now that if she ever decided to say yes to you could literally change the world? So who's somebody that just has so much influence, is so inspiring, is so positive, just attracts people like a magnet who's not currently on your team that if she were to ever say yes to you she could literally change the world her i would start with her put her on your chicken list like somebody it's a chicken list right because you're afraid to talk to her or she's intimidating to you or you're not sure what she thinks of mary Kay or you or anything um and just start there because this is a faith journey you know don't expect to feel no fear right so Faith is not the absence of fear. It's feeling the fear and doing it anyway. I know that sounds cliche, but it's so true. You're not going to feel no fear going through a new growth process. I mean, have you ever, did you feel fear your first day of school? Did you feel fear your first day of your job that you have now? Did you feel fear when you became a mother? Did you feel fear in a new marriage? Like, did you feel fear moving to a new city? There's so many times we feel fear. And the only way to get past it is to just do the thing that you fear. Just live your life. You go to work. You keep going to class. You talk to a stranger. You know, you do your best. So that's what this is. You know, you got to sort of just feel your fear and then do it anyway. And why not start with women that if they ever said yes to you, they would literally change the world because that's going to make your team building and your unit coming together and your job more fun and much easier and just more rich, just more rich and more joyful and just just weaves more um, amazingness into that fabric that we call our Mary Kay sisterhood. So think about not just who needs Mary Kay, but think about who Mary Kay as a company really needs to lead other women entrepreneurs in 2017. All right, then who to follow up with? Well, think about um, who can I follow up with today is your last question for the 40 day challenge. And that's past customers, anybody who's ever bought from you, anybody who's ever held a facial for you or hosted a party for you. Um, any team members that you had in the past, um, you know, and, and what is the point of following up with somebody when you ask yourself, who can I follow up with today? Well, it's to take that person to the next level on the five questions the, the following day. So if it's somebody that bought from you a long, long time ago, maybe three or four months ago or five months ago, well, her name should be at the top of the list for the next day of maybe she's someone I can book for a facial. Who can I sell to today? Or maybe I can text her about the new fall products and see if she needs any updated eyeshadows um, or whatever that might be. So does that make sense? The cycle is gonna start all over again every day with the same five questions. Who can I sell today? What can I sell today? Who can I book today? Who did I meet today? Who can I interview today? And who can I follow up with today? And um, for 40 days. And then seeing and talking to and selling something and sharing the business with and following up with and all those things with 200 different people, all the leads you're going to have from the parties that you're going to book and the new team members you're going to have and their friends. And I mean, you're going to have more than eight active team members to be able to enter the DIQ program on November 1 and hit the ground running with so much confidence, with so many wins under your belt, with an amazing success habit of asking yourself those five questions and figuring out how to get appointments booked and figuring out how to share the business with your director. I mean, all of that is going to just create for you a new career, a new life. If you want it, it'll be there for you. And it doesn't have to be a full-time career. It can be a part-time career. You know, I don't know if you know this, but there are many sales directors who do Mary Kay at the director level part-time. So usually a Cadillac director is doing this full-time, but there are many, many directors across the world who do Mary Kay part-time as a leader, and they still keep their teaching careers, or they still have their nursing careers, or they're still 
you know, accountants, there's still stay at home moms, there's still all kinds of things. So I have a director friend who's a doctor, she's a pediatrician in California, you know, so you just never know who this, I, I, my, my friend Candy Jones, who meets in my studio, Candy Cole is a dentist, she owns her own dental practice. Um, so anyway, there are just so many ways that you can do this business and don't think that you have to give up everything else you already do to be a Mary Kay sales director, you really don't. I'm just saying that they made it they changed the rules right now for just a very short time and they've made it so accessible for women to step into this position who've been dreaming about it, who've been looking for something, who've been praying about a solution. And I just want to invite you to come. I want to invite you to try. I want to invite you to run at it and to give it your guts, give it a hundred percent for the four hours a week that you have um, or the 10 hours a week that you're willing or the 40 day challenge. If you're somebody you can run in a spurt and you can take a 40 day challenge and just try because I promise you will feel personal growth. You'll feel more confident in all areas of your life. And gosh, what happens if you just succeed? Ah, you can have this whole new world open to you of possibilities and come to Atlanta with me as a new sales director offspring uh, for free and just see, see what God has in store for the next step in the next phase of your Mary Kay journey. So all in with eight, you're going to see us posting a lot. I'm going to probably do another video about this um, later in the week that um, will just explain some other things about how I personally did DIQ and talk a little bit more in depth about the words to use to book some of these appointments so that you can get some team members and how exactly to bring up the business opportunity at an appointment where you're selling the product. Um, and all those things. And I'll probably invite some special guests to join me. So you won't want to miss those. So thank you so much for being on tonight as we kick off this most exciting promotion. And I'm going to show you now just so I can prove to you that I know what I'm doing with the screen sharing. I'm going to show you really fast. Look, that I know how to do it. Ding, ding, ding. Is this it? Am I doing it? I'm probably still not doing it. <laughs> Am I doing it now? I was like showing you this whole thing and Highlighting while I was talking, I was showing you the suit and the purse and the loot and the scoop. <laughs> you probably weren't seeing any of it. Maybe you're still not seeing it right now. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, okay, y'all. I'm going to stop screen sharing and say goodnight and thank you so much. And we'll be back again later on this week to talk more about this all in with eight. I'm so excited. We're going to build our future national areas using this contest. And I want you to come with us. All right. Trains leaving the station. Choo choo. Hop on. <laughs> Bye.